Hello, good evening and welcome once again on this channel. So I want to thank you, my subscribers, my viewers and my returning viewers. Thank you so much for joining me once again. So do you know that uh, what will kill a child as is convulsing? A most cases, it's not just a convulsion. What will kill that child you have that is convulsing? In most times, it's not, that they, that, you know, it's not just the convulsion the baby is having. But what you, as a parent or as a caregiver, is, is doing or is going to do for that baby that will kill the baby. Now, this is so common, and that is why I'm making this video. So now you want you are going to learn a lot of things uh, concerning this video because is a concerning this story because because this is so common in our society, in this our part of the world. We have found out that in most families, in most houses, whenever a, a baby is having convulsion. Parents, caregivers will begin to do some things, some rituals. They will begin to apply oil into the mouth. Begin to apply oil into the, no into the nostrils, into the nose. Apply oil into the anus and use razor and knife to begin to cut the baby. Now, I want you to know that what will kill that baby, what will kill that baby actually is not just a convulsion, but what you, you as the mother and caregiver has done at that point when the baby is having the convulsion. Now, let's go down to the details. Now, when somebody is having convulsion, in most cases, in most times, whenever a baby is having convulsion, that baby is not aware of the environment. He, he or she doesn't know that you are there. And how can you know that whether this baby is aware of what you are doing? Call the baby. The baby will be looking or staring into the, into the air. Or sometimes the eyes will be going up. As the eyes are going up, that tells you that this baby is not aware of the place, he is not aware of anybody. So, how can you give something to somebody that is not aware of his environment? How can you give oil into the mouth of that baby? When you do that, the oil will not go into the stomach, the oil will go into the lungs because that baby cannot swallow, because that person, patient cannot swallow. The oil will go into the lungs, and when it goes into the lungs and get get into the lungs, it is going to cause more damages than good. That is the excess of making up this video, so that we see that some of the things we do ourselves, we are the ones that are causing more um, damages to our children and stuff. Do you get? So, what are you going to do? In most cases, what usually um, causes convulsion. In our children, usually, usually, as you the baby is not having, uh, it's not permitting, baby is not having diarrhea. Usually, is fever, is fever, meaning that the body is so hot, especially people that are uh, between the ages of six months to six years. The body is so hot before you know the baby begins to convulse. Now, if the baby is convulsing, what am I going to do as a mother before I get to the hospital? Am I supposed to be start shouting and begin to apply oil and olive oil and other oil into the mouth? No, that's not what you're supposed to do. What you're supposed to do is to carry that baby and lay the baby on the side. You know the way we used to sleep, sleep by the side like this. Exactly, that is what you're going to do for that baby. That's what what you're supposed to do for that patient, not on the back, but on the side. Now, because the body is hot, because the body is hot, what you will do now is. You get water that is not cold and that is not hot, called lukewarm water. Get that water and use it to rub through all the body. I do not say oil, lukewarm water. That's what you apply through the body. So that when you are applying it, the heat that is inside of the body will evaporate. The body will cool and thereby helping to reduce the stimulation of the brain that is happening at that point in time, causing that uh, convulsion. This is what, or these are what you are supposed to do for the baby that is convulsing. Now, what, when you have achieved that one, even if you have done, lay the baby on the side and apply all those things I said, that is um, the lukewarm water, you carry the baby to a nearby hospital. To a nearby And I think, as I think that baby to the nearby hospital, as you the baby is still convulsing, you still lay the baby on the side so that what? The baby will not aspirate, even the saliva. That is idea. Of what you're supposed to do as a caregiver, as a mother. I'm not applying oil into the mouth, applying oil into the nose, 
or apply all you to the others are beginning to use the, your knife and your razor to begin to cut cut the baby. No, that is wrong. I want you to know that it is actually what you do for that baby that is convulsing that will kill the baby and not the convulsion. So if you have watched this video and you have learned something, kindly like this video, then share it to people so that they will know that this these are some of the things that we practice in our society that are not good and we should stop them we should stop them do you understand share the video like it so that other people will learn from this i still want to thank my subscribers please if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe subscribe i beg you in the name of god subscribe and like the video thank you so much and god bless you